Kane, welcome to Bristol City. How does it feel to join the Robins? Oh, it feels amazing. It's um, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now. And to finally get it done, I'm over for the moon. There were a lot of clubs interested in signing you. Why have you chosen Bristol City? Um, for me, City was a team that was forward thinking. I think um, there's a lot, it's easy sometimes to say you're a forward thinking team, a team that wants to get in the Premier League, but I think the steps that um, City are making with uh, IE the training ground, the, the gaffer talking to me, um, just the feel of the club in itself, it's um, something that I really I believe in and I think that's what they want to do. You've had a fantastic season, League Two Player of the Year and a promotion winning Forest Green Rovers side. How excited are you by this stage of your career? Extremely excited. It's um, like you said, it was a really good season last year, and and Forest Green was great, and it was a season where we went up as champions, and it was a feeling that I hope to imitate here, and I hope to do it on maybe a bigger scale in the championship, and it's something that um, it was good, and and hopefully now we can I can replicate it this year. Been down to Ashton Gate, been on the roof. What uh -huh. are your impressions of the stadium? Yeah, I've been onto the famous roof. It was uh, it was brilliant to finally go up there. Uh, a lot of the fans had seen uh, it popped up on Twitter and Instagram talking about the famous roof, and it was nice to get up there. And when I actually went and looked around the stadium, it was the first time I'd been there, and it's it's it's, it's some it's some place and somewhere where hopefully I can entertain a lot of the city fans. We've sold thirteen thousand season tickets already. How excited are you about potentially playing in front of those? Fans. Ah, oh, I'm over the moon. It's going to be um, something that I really look forward to. It's always been a dream to play in front of fans of that size and that many of them in one place. And hopefully, I can get them cheering, get them shouting, and as well as the rest of the team, and, and give them something to be proud of. You've interrupted a family holiday to fly over, <laughs> yeah. sign, get your medical done, a bit of yeah. testing. How good is it to secure your future so early in the window and you know, yeah. get back for pre-season training? Well, exactly that. It was, it was that important to me that I, I came back from a family holiday. Um, only for the day, hopefully. As like, long as I pass these fitness tests, um, uh, it was that important to get it over the line and, and secure what, like you said, early in the window because I do want to get focused. I want to have a good pre-season under my belt and going into a league that I've not yet experienced, I'm, I want to be ready. I want to get a feel for the team and, and kick on. The stats say 45 appearances, Three goals, thirteen assists. I think you might <laughs> you might be claiming fifteen there. Yeah. Um, what can Bristol City fans expect from Kane Mills? Yeah, uh, it's um, I'm someone uh, well, like you said. I've played last maybe two or three seasons at, at wing back, a uh, position that I love. But I can also play a few positions: winger, right back, um, on both sides. Um, I'm just a player that likes to get the ball, dribble with it, try and create, um, try and help. Um, a team score goals, and I also try. I also enjoy defending. I, I try and I love getting back as much as I love getting forward, and I just try and work up my hardest every game. And I know that fans buy into that, and as long as I do that, hopefully that they, they will they'll take a lot in. You're 22 now. You've made more than 100 league appearances. What do you hope the next three years holds for yourself? Um, I hope the next three years hold um, Premier League. That's my dream. It's my dream to um, one day play in. The, in what would be the greatest league in the, in the world, in my opinion. So to do that with City and take them, a, a team that I think deserves to be there. I know it's been a while since they've been in the top division. Um, to do that with them was, is a dream now. And hopefully in the next three years that can happen and we kick on. And I think like all the lads from what I'm hearing, they've got the same ambition and the same goal. So hopefully we do it. You signed Cal Naismith, Mark Sykes along with yourself. How encouraged are you by the ambition of Bristol City? Oh, massively. I think um, both players are both players that I know, and especially like, like you said, Naismith. Um, I've just I've just been finished watching. The, I watched the playoffs, and I, I noticed how good he was. And like I said, I've heard of Sargs before um, at Oxford United. We played against them last season, and he was such a good player. So kind of them them kind of signings and and being that quick and on the front foot is encouraging because I know, like you said, it's not it's not. Um, just speaking, it's, it's actions and that's something that, as a player, you really, really buy into. Every day you'll be here at the Robins High Performance Centre. From what you've seen at the facilities, how impressed are you? Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's world class. It's uh, um, something that I dreamed of one day working, day in, day out, and it's somewhere where I can definitely improve and strive. It's a, like, how can you not, it's a dream job, how can I not enjoy coming into a place like this, for a club like this, and, and trying to improve and get better. Like I said, I'm only 22 and 
I, I very much doubt that I'm the best I am, best version of myself right now. So hopefully um, I can improve here and like I said, these this facility can give me maybe one, two, three, maybe more percent on my game, which will only help an impact on the pitch. Bruce Green Rovers is not far away, uh, so you've had a taste of the yeah. area. Was the city of Bristol and what it offers an important factor in, in coming here? Oh, massive. I've um, the southwest become has become my home from home. Really, obviously, I was born in Birmingham, but um, I moved down to initially Exeter in um, when I was seventeen, and I lived in the southwest. And then, like you said, two years ago, I joined Forest Green and, and lived in a little town called Tetbury, which isn't too far. And there's not much around Tetbury in terms of cities. So uh, me and my partner, a little one, we found ourselves venturing into Bristol more than most days, to be honest, because it was such, like I said, Cabot Circus and, and places like that have been places where I've loved coming. And uh, just driving through today, just coming in and coming in different ways than what I've obviously experienced before, it's gorgeous. It, it's something that I, I look forward to living in and it was a massive part, really. OK, well, on behalf of all Bristol City fans, we wish you all the best. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it.